Welcome back to a new episode about how to create a local database in PHP. Before we start, I recommend you to go to your XAMPP and run MySQL database. Because remember, in the beginning of the course, we only started Apache Web Server. So open XAMPP, go to Manage Servers, and you can see that Apache Web Server is running because, well, that's how we entered a local host. But in order to enter your database, you need to activate MySQL database. So let's start it. Wait a couple of seconds. And what we need to do now is to go to our browser, change the URL to localhost backslash php my admin. And don't get confused by all the buttons and links that you can see right now because I want to go through them and tell you what it actually means, because it's not that difficult. So on the left-hand side of my screen, you can see all the databases that I have right now, and you can see it with a database icon. You might have a couple different databases, but a couple basic ones are pre-installed, such as Information Schema, Performance Schema, PHP My Admin. On the top of my browser, you can see my server, and right now, I'm on my local host. But whenever you log in on an actual database of a website, the name will change. And in the menu right below our well server, you can see a couple of buttons that you can choose from. And the ones that we are interested in is database and SQL. The SQL tab makes you insert SQL queries. So let's click on it. Basically what we did in our last episode can be done right here to see if it works. So remember, what we did in our last episode was writing down select star because we want everything from our table called users. And if I run it right now, you can see that we're getting an error message because, well, we have no database selected. So let's go back to our homepage. And there are two other important tabs, which is the export and import. So whenever you have a database that you want to import, it can be done right here. You just need to choose the file and you need to import it. And the same thing can be done for export. But what we want to focus on is the database tab. So let's click on it. And once you are in here, you can see that we can actually create our own database. So let's give it a name. And I recommend you to use lowercase and no dashes. And if you wanted to use dashes, I recommend you to use underscores instead. I want to give my database a name of PHP tutorial. You can name it whatever you want, but you need to remember that whenever I refer to my database called PHP tutorial, you need to use your own database name and not PHP tutorial because, well, yours is different. And now that we have created our name, let's create our database. And you can see that I'm getting a warning message right now because there are no tables found in the database. And if you look at the left hand side of my screen, you can see that the database that we just created is added on the list. There is actually another way how you could create a database, and that's by clicking, well, on the top of your databases on the left hand side, on new. So let's click on it. And you can see that we got redirected to the same page of databases. So let's go back to PHP tutorial and let me explain to you how this actually works. So we have our database right now called PHP tutorial and every database has tables inside of it. What I showed you in the previous episode, the table of users. And that can be done right here as well because we can create a table called users where we have user information, such as the name, email, password, and so on. We can also create a table called posts. So let's say that we want to create a blog where we can save our blog post, and that can be done in the post table. And you can have as many tables as you want. And a post table has a user ID, which is equal to the user ID of the table users which doesn't make sense right now, but it will make sense later on. This was it for this episode. If you do enjoy my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up, and if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.